Okay. I think that does it for the list. I just can't... I just can't shake the feeling that we're forgetting something. Well, I don't know. Let me think about it. You said... Where are their sleeping bags again? The sleeping bags are down the basement? Okay. And, um... They rolled up. They're ready to... To attach the backpacks. <sighs> okay. What about a tent? That's right. That's right. They're providing them. Okay. Uh, not nervous. What makes you think I'm nervous? <laughs> I don't get nervous. You know that. No, I don't. It's all for comedic effect. <laughs> uh, I love you, but you're a pain in the ass, you know that? Yeah, come here. Mm. I'm listening, go ahead. Tell me. I know. I know. You're right. You're right. They're going to be just fine. Both of them. But... There are babies, you know? And... I'm just... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous about sending them off to camp for the first time. Without... Either of us. I told you to stop feeding them when they were babies so they wouldn't get any bigger. They were little. They were cute. <laughs> How do you know it doesn't work like that? Did you try? <laughs> All right. Well, to soothe my not nervous mind, can we just run the list one more time? All right, toiletries. We got toothbrushes, toothpaste. We got little travel body wash and shampoo. Yeah. Okay. Deodorant. Okay. What about bug spray? We got bug spray? You got bug spray. Perfect. And sunscreen. SPF 70. That ought to be that ought to be okay. No, I just don't want him to get burned. <laughs> and clothing. What's the weather supposed to be like? Okay, perfect. We got shirts, we got pants, socks, underwear. Underwear? Underwear, okay. Boots? All right. Can you believe this is where we are now? Like, actually... Believe it? <laughs> it just seems like it was only, you know, yesterday that I was packing up and going off to camp myself. And how did enough time pass for me to be a dad with babies who are old enough to be doing this? They've gotten big. And it happens like so gradually you don't even notice it until you look back and, and do you remember how tiny their baby clothes were? It's just... You know the day's gonna come, and it still manages to catch it by surprise. And it's only gonna get worse, you know? There's gonna be graduations, there's gonna be... Jobs, there's gonna be weddings, there's gonna be... Grandkids, I, I mean... 
and, and I don't know, you know, what the future looks like, what that path looks like, you know, but it, time waits for no one. Uh, not sad, maybe nostalgic would be a better word. I'm very happy. I'm thrilled. Our kids are amazing young people. I'm so proud. So proud of both of them. You know, when you told me... When you told me I was going to be a dad, I it, it was the most scared I'd ever been in my life. Uh, the most excited too. No, not nervous. Never nervous. <laughs> Stop exposing me like that, okay? <clears throat> I was just, I was scared. Because you and I were bringing into the world this brand new human life, like so helpless, so needy, so innocent. And in one instant, I was just aware of all of my shortcomings. I was aware of how much I didn't know and how much responsibility was going to fall to me and to us to take these precious little lives and guide them and, and, and teach them and nurture them. And then you have to let go. And that's... You know, if I were capable of being nervous, I would worry about, you know, what if something happens to them? And what if they get lost? What if they, I don't know. Slip on the trail. What if they eat the wrong berries? What if they do something that they've been told not to do and, and, and end up getting hurt? Like, But then I remember I can't control everything. I can't control their lives. You know, you, you teach them and you guide them and then you have to let them go. And I, I mean, I know I've got a long time left. Is there, I mean, as long as I live, I'll still be their dad. I'll still look for opportunities to teach them and help them learn, even when they're grown, even when they're out on their own. But my, my role in that is going to get smaller and smaller as time goes on because they're going to need it less and less. What are you talking about? I'm going to miss them. I miss them already. <laughs> they haven't even gone yet. Yeah, I'm not going to deny that. I will enjoy the silence. I will enjoy not having to step over their stuff that they leave out. I will not miss having to remind them to turn off the lights or lock the door. Not to put their shoes up on the couch. Like, you know. But you know what I'm going to... You know what I'm going to miss? Even more than I'll be enjoying that silence and that relaxation, I'm going to miss the mess and the noise. <laughs> the commotion and the... Um, mess <laughs> because they're my babies and as frustrated as I get when they you know create messes create problems and there's a joy of being their dad and getting to teach them and I mean you wouldn't know this but being a dad is pretty awesome like it kicks ass <laughs> well, I'm sure being a mom is pretty great. I'll have to take your word for it. And speaking of... Speaking of being a mom... Yeah, I want to thank you. 
you gave me two beautiful, beautiful lives. You know when I was more scared, the one time I've been more scared than when you told me I was going to be a dad? When we got that ultrasound and found out there were two of them. That was the <laughs> scaredest I've been in my life. And you have done so well with it. You have risen to the occasion. You're just a great mom. You you parent well. You nurture, but you also correct. You soothe, but you have expectations. You know how to handle emergencies. You know how to connect and, and, and do things with them. Our kids are growing up to be well-adjusted, emotionally healthy young people. Well, I know I play a role in that, but you, that, that we're focusing on you right now. <laughs> and you're just one hell of a great mom. I just, I love you. You know that? With all my heart. And there's no one that I would rather have on this journey with me. No one. And being with me is a daily choice that you make. You're a free woman. If you wanted to walk away from me, you could. But you choose me every day, just like I choose you every day. And knowing knowing that being with me is because you choose to just makes it mean that much more and you really love me don't you <laughs> i do and i love you more than i have the words to express yeah yeah i'm done being being mushy for now Let's get this packed up. You want to know uh, <laughs> what I am looking forward to while they're gone? It's going to be nice to have a little bit of um, time for just the two of us to really connect. No, don't worry. We're both really going to enjoy it. <laughs> 